So in today's market environment, it's really more important than ever to make sure that the planning gets done right on machinery investment. As part of the background for our management training program for farmers called C-Team, we have access to data from about 2,000 grain and oilseed farms in Manitoba and Ontario that give a lot of information about the importance of machinery. One of the things that has become a problem for some people is that they get over leveraged because they've over invested in machinery and equipment. And the planning issue that farmers need to address is how do I get the right mix, the right combination of things? What these data tell us is that the most profitable 25% of farmers have costs of approximately 15 to 20% of their revenue for machinery and equipment, whereas the least profitable farmers have costs between 30 and 35%. So that's an important thing to take into account when doing the planning for the amount of machinery and equipment that you need for your farm. So in equipment, there's two different theories as far as farm equipment replacement schedules. And one option is that you uh, farmers or growers will uh, continually trade equipment and have the most modern equipment that way. Or there's the school of thought that I use that I buy equipment and I maintain it well and run it for a very long period of time. How many bells and whistles do you want the newest and greatest or do you buy something that's used and maintain it and, and run it that way and keep your capital costs down knowing though that you might you're going to have more repairs and you'll have probably downtime in the field that's the trade-off between the two downtime versus capital costs buying farm equipment can be very very complicated it's capital intensive that's the problem and you only use a lot of this equipment for a month or two short seasons right so you have all this it's not like a car or truck that you use 12 months a year. Combine you maybe use October, November, maybe in the summer if you grow grain, but uh, a lot of specialized equipment, a lot of huge capital costs for short seasons. We provide the capital as well as the support to develop the project and connections with the community to help you along the way. There's a, a really high level of technology required when you're working with agricultural equipment on today's farms. The agri-food industry is incredibly important not only to this region, but the entire province. People need to understand that there are really exciting career paths uh, within the ag industry and working on sophisticated equipment is just one of those career paths. We're very excited at, at the college because we have some agricultural programming that's gonna support uh, farms in this region and they're gonna be focused very much on technology. So the programs are designed to bridge people into uh, really exciting careers in agriculture, include the maintenance of equipment and the, some of the theory around the ag equipment and culminate in the operation of equipment, everything from traditional tractors right through the entire seasonal spectrum. This will be a tremendous program for people who are looking to start into agriculture. It's also a tremendous program for people that are looking to increase their skill sets who may already be working in an agricultural sector. 